the difference between working in a gallery space and in a place like this is there's just so much to go off here. Like a, a cemetery or memorial park is already so sculptural. Every, a tombstone is a sculpture. Um, a plaque is a sculpture. The gardens are sculptural. So it is a challenge to try and create something that blends into that, that setting, but also stands out. I think this body of work is an extension of the rest of my practice, which sort of goes through daily processes of collecting materials, um, old clothing, shirts, uh, ceramics, things that are quite, have, have a bit of personal significance, but not, it's not necessarily clear what that is to a viewer, but um, I think from the domestic nature of the objects, you can't, it infers a sort of familiarity. Um, and I think this is obviously a, a cemetery is, a, or the Memorial Park is a great place to bring that sort of personal archeology span um, out in the work. It's like, it's quite fitting really um, to have that kind of material memory within this setting. I kind of, I want the work to represent a sort of timelessness. Um, and I think, you know, being in this sort of lockdown situation, um, time has sort of felt like it's frozen. Well, not for everyone, but hopefully, <laughs> uh, for me personally, it sort of felt like the year has been frozen and, and, and these works are kind of an archive of that moment spending a lot of time in a studio alone, just making these time capsules essentially, um, does feel very, you know, pertinent to, to this moment that we're going through. Yeah.